Welcome back and when we left off on Saturday this particular plug was uh, just up on the mill and getting the roughing cut so here we are this is Monday morning and um, finishing things off here so just with the ball mill there finishing off at one of the transitions in the flange there so nothing too complicated with that one and here we are with the 3 8 of an inch ball mill and just doing uh, the undercut on the leading edge um, of the strake there so we've actually created a joggle so the leading edge wraps around and actually un sort of continues around underneath so when we lay up this part we'll have um, the actual joggle that will wrap around on the lower part and here Jeff's uh, putting some epoxy on the bottom of these uh, steel pads for uh, this uh, framework that will brace up the, the main spar that's uh, sitting next to him there so that's not too far away from um, being ready to uh, flip that over and, and um, have it all set up so we can lay up the main spar which that's pretty exciting because it'll be quite a big layup to do and here is that right upper wing straight uh, plug the foam all finished with milling and the actual platform all cleaned up there so that one is ready to have uh, its layer of fiberglass put on there and that one came out nice so still got to do the uh, the one for the left side but that'll come uh, later this week and next up on the mill this is the right hand side lower wing strake again in putty and starting out here with a flat end mill and just milling this one flat face that's in the bottom of the wheel well there so this was actually quite a, long, a lot of work to get this one milled because in that wheel well we had to do a lot of ball milling which took a long time and here's the uh, the main spar here with that framework um, bonded or at least laid up in place so the epoxy can cure and then that'll um, have those uh, pads be all drilled so we can put bolts in there to hold that all together and here's that lower wing strike again this is much further along so ran all night um, running the ball mill pass in the uh, wheel well there and now it's doing all the flat surfaces there so it's just got the short uh, flat end mill there and just running the the, um, the main lower surface there and here's the plug for the rear uh, seat mounts and that's just been sitting there and it just got sprayed with a guide coat so that one's ready uh, for sanding now and here we're on the absolute last step for these uh, door frames so these uh, bushings have been bonded into place here and so all that remains is to um, put in a little bit of carbon over the top of those just to uh, hold them secure and then we're ready to release uh, this particular or these particular molds from that plug finally after many months <laughs> And here we're running some uh, swarf cuts on this plug just to finish off um, some of these transitions from one surface to the other. And this basically just runs the edge of the mill along there and just cleans off the last little bit that is in between the two different surfaces there, the flange and the main sort of field area there. And the last step is to create this little indent around the uh, wheel well opening which allows the door, um, which covers the wheel uh, when the gear is retracted, allows the door to recess into um, the, ho the whole wing skin and sort of be nice and flush there. So this is just cutting, uh, I believe it's about 90 thou um, deep of a little flange kind of in that edge there. And it's difficult to see because of all the, uh, the shavings and stuff along there, but basically uh, it's just creating that little step And Roberto and Chris are again uh, in this afternoon, and so they uh, first thing they did was uh, fiberglass that uh, upper wing straight. So that one's ready now, um, just to be scuffed and then sprayed in putty, and then probably that will get milled before the week is out. So th these other ones are actually slowing me down a little bit because it's taking a long time to run the ball mill paths in these uh, wheel wells. And the guys managed to finish off these. Um, boards here and, and um, put the carbon fiber around those uh, bushings so that one is uh, complete the other one still needs to be done but 
this one uh, should be we should be releasing this uh, mold tomorrow hopefully so that'll be fun and right before I left late this evening I got the guys to help me lift this one up on the mill and uh, get it started with a ball mill pass so anyway that's our update for the uh, first half of this week thanks again for watching <laughs>